guys, we're going over perhaps the most essential piece of the beautiful game of tennis, tennis balls, price points and quality. Ben, opening thoughts? Uh, I used to not care about tennis balls at all. I actually walked around my cat, beat it, beat her to a fall. Stupid feline. Stupid feline. I hate you. So I actually used to walk around my college campus collecting balls from the that the college players had hit over the fence. And my tennis mentor was like, what are you doing? Those balls are dead. I thought he was just being a snob. Uh, fast forward a year and a half later, I won't play a two-hour session without a new can of balls. Uh, agreed. And my standards for the balls that I play with have certainly skyrocketed. I don't want to say I'm snob territory, but um, flirt with it. <laughs> So anyways, we got several different tiers of balls, price point quality, et cetera. Let's start with the premium stuff. The Vocal V Pro, v Pro excuse me, do not have a can here, but they go for $6 on Tennis Express. It's like they have dust sprinkled in the felt. Or as you said, they're made with actual dollar bills. Yeah, they, they, grab, they shred dollar bills and it, yeah. It's gotta be something because I don't know who they think they are. Selling balls at that price point. The nerve. $2 a ball. We'll never try it um, <laughs> due to uh, financial restrictions because I would love to try it. Uh, the Dunlop AO balls. You've seen these at the beloved Grand Slam Tour to start every year. Um, but how much do they cost? $4 a can at Tennis Express. That's $1.33 a ball. Um, I believe we've heard they're not that great. Yeah, mixed reviews, but a little bit disappointing considering the high price point. It seems like the quality just doesn't match up with that. That's what I've heard. But the AO logo is sick, so I'll probably try them out. Uh, next up is Pentor, again in that premium category. $3.99, you can get these at Target Dicks. These are often used at tournaments, so it is a legitimate ball. Um, compared to the Australian Open ball, it, the quality is right there with the price point. So you pay for what you get. Uh, next, we got the Wilson U.S. Open official ball. Um, I, these are some of the balls I actually used to collect. Uh, the college team practiced with them, and I thought they were great then, um, and I, I still think they're a great deal. Uh, as, in terms of quality, without getting too expensive, they're about $4 a can or $1.33 a ball, uh, $1.32 a ball at Walmart, so they're easily accessible. Yeah, this is pretty much the worst of the best, but certainly still a premium product only hit with these maybe once and that was for yeah like how bad can it be it's a grand slam ball <laughs> yeah i mean that was a real treat to do it but unfortunately i am not able to hit with these on a regular basis due to uh again the money uh let's go down to the mid tier a little bit more affordable technifiber is uh certainly a good option for that a dollar 30 excuse me a dollar 16 a ball for the Technifiber Championship, comes out to $3.49 a can. These were extremely bouncy. I did have the chance to try only one can. I was hitting my forehands regularly, like way up here by my shoulder. So whether you like bouncy or you dislike bouncy, just remember that these have a high bounce um, if you ever consider these Technifiber Championship. That Black Gold Championships. I actually had a case of these, got it for 60 bucks on Hollabird Sports. Um, but if you buy it by the can, it's going to run you about three bucks at Dick's or a dollar a ball, which is right where I want to be. I thought they had great durability and I could get about two sessions with them. Right on. Uh, next up, we got the Dunlop Grand Prix. I heard about these on Tennis Warehouse. The playtest team was advocating for these balls, saying that they're a, uh, you know, one of their favorites over there in California. Two ninety a can. So it comes up to about 96 cents a ball. Now we're getting into some territory that I can live with when it comes to price point. But these were dead as a doornail out the can. Cannot recommend. Um, Is there anything that Tennis Warehouse won't recommend? For real. The only redeeming, redeeming quality of this can is the unique cap. Uh, Dunlop Ace. These will run you about $2.19 a can at Big Five. Don't know what that is. <laughs> 73 cents a ball. And that's because that's a West Coast retailer. They're not over uh, here on the East Coast, but when West I visited Coast, my Coast. family out in California, I brought back a whole duffel bag full <laughs> of these. Um, really like the way these balls play and uh, right up there with the price point that I can live with. All right, let's get into the economical options for tennis balls. One that we don't have here, but I'm sure you've seen the Dunlop Championship 
uh, $2.17 a can at Walmart. It's kind of your one of the staple balls for your recreational play for your recreational player, as is the next ball that you're gonna talk about. The Wilson Championship. You'll see this at any local court, and that's because it's available at Walmart for $2.17 a can which is actually way more than the cost you'll see online at any of the warehouse websites. Yeah, totally uh, contradicting the laws of economies of scale. One can is still cheaper than buying in bulk when you go with Walmart. And then bringing up that last, um, you know, staple category, the most common balls, it actually says it right here, America's number one selling ball. We've all heard of it, Penn Championship, Ben, you have a case of these right now, I'll That's let you do I'm, the talking. That's what I'm running with right now. My mom got them for me for Christmas. Um, I like the red ink, but I wish, these are just regular duty and that's what they are. They only last me about one session. And after that, Yeah. Uh, so the Wilson, the Penn, and the Dunlop that we'll show a picture of, all the same price point at Walmart. Let us know what you guys go with because I think they're fighting for the bulk of the market share when it comes to everyday players. All right, last. And certainly least, <laughs> Athletic Works is the Walmart brand. You pay for what you get. $1.50 a can comes out to... 50 cents a ball. <laughs> can't argue with that price, can you? I can't, but they suck. <laughs> well, when you rip a forehand and it comes out looking like a troll doll five seconds later, I think you can. Yeah. Um, crazy thing is you can buy these in bulk and it comes out at like 42 cents a ball, so you can get <laughs> even cheaper. They're practically free. But again... I don't even think your dog would accept this as a chew toy. So um, our recommendation, stay away. <laughs> uh, ben, let's answer the question on everybody's mind. What is the trash bin ball of choice? For me, I gotta go with the Babel at Gold. Um, Mid-tier, good price point, and I feel like I'm hitting with an obscure quality ball that signals I'm a tennis head. <laughs> right on. For me, um, I, alluded it to her, I alluded to it earlier, it's the Dunlop Ace. Um, not too common of a ball, but super consistent. They last uh, multiple Long time, multiple playing sessions. And if you buy them in this really cool four can, um, it's even cheaper. It's like sixty nine cents a ball. So I'll use these for a you know maybe a league match or, or more of a session that I know is going to last several hours. So anything else? That's all I got. All right, trashman tennis. It's all about the tennis trash we've been. All right, later.